So what's up guys? Um, I actually just wanted to make this video just to kind of explain to you about, about this broadcast that I sent you earlier that you said you were interested in. Uh, this broadcast was essentially, let me just go ahead and share my screen. This broadcast was essentially uh, about a new software that, that I'm building. So uh, as a company, I've built so many different softwares. Uh, let me just show you a bunch of them. This is one of them. It's an invoicing platform. This is where I do a lot of the invoices for, for our company. Um, we built this out there. This is like our crown jewel. This is called Text Involved. This is a really, really awesome software. Another software that, that I've built that was built by our company. This software is essentially um, a cloud phone system. It, it allows you to send and receive phone calls right through the browser, send text messages, auto respond to text messages. You can essentially make uh, uh, SMS chatbot through this platform. So this is a really, really complex software. I invested about $100,000 in my company uh, building this platform. This, like I said, is our crown jewel. Here's another one here. Uh, this is Rocket Contact. This is another really, really awesome software. This software it allows you to do really, really massive lead generation. So essentially, what this software allows you to do yeah, is this software allows you to essentially target a location and target a particular keyword, like let's say Los Angeles, California dentist. And essentially, it will go find all the dentists in Los Angeles, California. It will scrape their websites, find their contact us form, automatically submit their contact us form, uh, and then automatically scrape their websites for email addresses and send your email and your follow-up sequence. It's, it's used just to send a, a quick, short message to start a conversation and take a completely cold prospect into a warm prospect that you're having a conversation with. Okay, uh, here's, a, here's another software that we built. This is a URL shortener um, that was built by Tier 5. This is a URL shortener that allows you to uh, shorten URLs. It allows you to embed your Facebook tracking pixel, embed your Google Analytics pixel. It, allow, it actually allows you to completely pull through the link preview. So uh, most URL sh shorteners don't do that. They don't actually pull through the link preview of the URL that you're shortening. They just show you like a blank preview. This software allows you to pull through that link preview and it also allows you to completely customize your, your link preview. So you can create your short link, you can completely brand it, you can put it behind your own subdomain. And like I said, you can completely, you can completely customize the link preview that, that somebody's actually going to see. Uh, here's another tier five software, Digital Employee ID. This software was actually just um, featured on national news for a smarter Pakistan because they're actually using our software and their new smart cities to uh, do all the, all the actual security and logging of the residents coming in and out of the actual smart cities. So like I said, this was actually just, if you check my Facebook page out, you can see the news articles where this was actually featured on the actual news. Here's another one, Corporate Confessions. This is also a, another tier five software. Uh, and this software is for businesses. It allows businesses to essentially have an anonymous confession portal, all right? And I can keep going and going. I can literally go on for another hour and show um, a lot of the different softwares that, that tier five, my company, the company that I founded over two years ago, has actually created that are awesome software is generating revenue for us, all right? Uh, and the, the whole reason that I'm telling you that, the only reason that I'm telling you that is so that you can understand that we're more than capable. You know, I sit here at an office, I, I've got uh, 37 engineers that work for me that just sit right inside there. So it, it's no bullshit, no hype. You, we can build software. That's essentially what we do as uh, that's essentially what we do as a company is we build software and that's the only reason that i'm showing you any of these other softwares uh, this is this is essentially teamwork this is where we manage our software projects for my clients so this is essentially where we manage all the all the projects for for different clients all right um, and our own and our own projects as well you can see we have quite a bit of pbay all right you want to see another software that we built um, this software is X-rated, so uh, 
If you're not into X-rated shit, then close your eyes for a second. This is another tier five software that we built completely from the ground up. Uh, this is a $250,000 software that we built. It's completely live streaming. It's a live streaming porn site that we built. Um, fucking awesome, awesome job that we've done here. This dude's making hell of a lot of money on the software that we that we built him. Uh, that's PBA. Like I said, you can see that right here, somewhere in here. That's PBA. Uh, so, <laughs> like I said, this is this is what we do. We're a software company. So essentially, what we're doing now, based on a need that I saw, we are embarking and we are building a brand new software. So first, I'm going to tell you about the software, and then after I tell you about the software, I'm going to tell you about um, the crowdfunding option where you can invest in the software and you can get equity or you can be an early buyer and you can pre-buy a lifetime access to the software before it's built for a really, really low price. So uh, with, uh, I'll just jump in and kind of tell you about the software. So what the software is essentially is it is uh, a software that goes hand in hand with chatbots and messenger marketing. So the reason that we're building a, this particular software is based on a huge need that I have seen by just being in chatbot groups. So being in chatbot groups, I've seen so many people ask, you know, hey, how can I give my clients access to the chatbot so they can send out broadcasts but not be able to mess with the chatbot. So Minichat hasn't given you a solution for that. ChatFuel hasn't given you a solution for that. Those are the two main chatbot platforms out there. Neither one of them have given you a solution for that yet. So we decided we already have a working prototype. Now, when it comes to software engineering, you, you have a, a few different phases that you go through, okay? You have a, a a, a concept, a proof of concept, or a working prototype. Then you go to alpha phase, then you go to a beta phase, then you go to an early release phase, and then you go to a production ready phase. So we already have the working prototype. We've already started working on um, the alpha and beta combined. Okay, so alpha, an alpha stage is a really non polished version but it's very useful. People can actually go in and use, use it. A beta version it is kind of polished off and it can be used, but it's not ready for full blown production. It's not ready for scalability. I mean, if you open the floodgates and you dump 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 users in it, this shit's going to crash. So like I said, we already have the working prototype for our blueprint and we've, been, we've already started, I get a team, I got a team of four developers who are actually working on it that it's going to take them, uh, let's say, another three and a half weeks, four weeks to come up with a full-fledged beta version that I can sustain, let's say, probably about 500 users in that software uh, before running into to scalabilities and performance issues, okay? So I need a total of three months to build the full-scale production version of the software. All right, so like I said, what this software is, is it, it is a software that solves a huge problem for people who are building chatbots for clients. So you build a chatbot for your client and you don't want to give them access to mini chat because you don't want them to know you've built their chatbot on a $10 a month platform and you're scared that if you find, if they find out they're going to quit paying your thousand or $2,000 a month retainer, you've built a chatbot on chat fuel, same problem. You don't want your users to know, you don't want your clients to know that you just built the chatbot on on chat fuel. It took you three days. You charge them $5,000 and you're charging them $500 a month. So you don't want them to find out about that, or you don't want them in there fucking with the bot, messing up the bot. So that's where our software comes in. Our software is a completely custom backend. It can be completely white labeled. You can point your domain at it. You can point your client's domain at it. They can log in. They can see all their subscribers to the bot. Every bot subscriber, every one of these guys that you would see over here, they'll actually be able to see inside the custom backend and they'll be able to send a broadcast out to them. It's as simple as that, all right? It allows you to give your clients access to be able to broadcast out messages to their entire list or a segmented list without having to actually grant them access to mini chat or without having to grant them access to chat fuel, all right? So that's, just, that's exactly what the software does. So hopefully you understand exactly what the software does. It's a custom backend. A user can log in, your client can log in, they can see all their subscribers, their entire subscriber list, and a list that's going to look literally 
I, I hate to fucking tell you, but it's going to look essentially just like what you're seeing right here because we're essentially going to copy the mini chat UI. So it's going to be a list that looks essentially just like this, all right, where they can go down, they can select everybody, and then they can click broadcast. And once they click broadcast, they're going to be presented with another screen very similar to this. They're just not going to have the actual flow builder, okay? They're going to have a very simple way to go in and create any of these messenger any of these objects except for this user input because that's not that's not going to be needed in a broadcast they'll be able to create any of these simple any of these simple structures and then send that broadcast out to all their actual users without having to get access to mini chat without having to get access to chat fuel all right now i've had a lot of people personally message me and offer to pay me for this software to give it to them, to develop it for them. Literally, I've had four or five different people just from the chat fuel community that have approached me and asked me, hey, can you build this for me? How much is it gonna cost for you to build it for me? And essentially, it would be their software. Now, I don't actually wanna build it for anybody and it'd be anybody else's software, all right? So we are actually building it. So back here on my board, I've got it all worked out what it's going to actually cost. So. I'm calculating the total cost to build this platform is going to be 8K. That's the total cost. Now, I am myself personally going to invest the entire 8K if nobody else does. If nobody else wants to get in on an investment and actually invest in this software, I'm going to invest the entire 8K myself. I am going to actually build the software um, regardless of any of you guys, whether you decide to, to invest or not. So what's going to happen is within a month, uh, maybe a little bit less than a month, you're going to see me actually release this software in my group for a limited time. It's, I'm going to start out with probably like a $99 lifetime fee to, to actually use the software as soon as it launches. All right. Um, and it will get launched because we will build it. That's what I do is build software. All right. So I wanted to prove we have another software. Um, that we started whenever we first started this company. It's a software called Launchpad. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's not actually on the internet right now. Let me check, but I'm pretty sure that it's not actually on the internet. Let's take a look. Um, and it is, but it looks like there's a database issue. Looks like there's a database issue that's there, so uh, I'll have to get one of my devs. But essentially what Launchpad is, is Launchpad is a direct portal into Tier 5 that allows you to basically crowdsource software. So if you have a software project, uh, if you have a software project and you don't have all the funds to build it, it's Launchpad allows you to, to get that launched and to actually build that software, all right? So the, the whole reason that I wanna do the crowdsourcing and I've even opened this up, like I said, I mean, I've got, uh, I, I've got if, you, if, you want some, if you want some proof, here's one of my Stripe accounts. I mean, I generated $2,000 today in my Stripe account. I'll just, uh, I'll just refresh it so that you know that it's not bullshit, okay? $2,000 today already on fucking Sunday. If you look in the last week, um, fourteen thousand dollars in the last week, in the last four weeks, thirty thirty three thousand dollars in the last year, two hundred fifty six thousand uh, dollars this quarter, seventy five thousand dollars. So, uh, I, literally, I, I I build software. Okay, uh, I've got the money to build this shit all myself. I've got more money than eight thousand dollars sitting fucking losing money in in Ethereum and and Litecoin right now. So trust me, it's, it's not about the money. I don't need the 8K. Um, if I go to my bot classes, like literally if I come over here to just the bot training that, that I use and you look at the actual bot training, uh, in here in the last week, uh, 1,500 bucks in the last week, in the last four weeks, uh, 3,000, I probably got, I probably got almost, yeah, I got like almost the money to almost the 8k sitting right here just in this stripe account that i haven't even sent to my bank account so believe me when i tell you the reason that i'm actually open opening this up for for early adopters and potential investors isn't because i need 8k um i can easily go in and pay the developers myself yeah, i have to do it anyways because they're my employee they work for me i gotta pay their salary anyway the reason that i'm actually opening it up like this is to, because I want to prove a concept 
of crowdsourcing software. And I want to use this initial software here as a model to go in and launch a launch pad and show in launch pad the entire concept of crowdsourcing a software. So I told you that I told you exactly what the software is going to do. The software is a complete custom backend that is going to work with either mini chat or chat viewing or literally any bot building platform out there it will work with. If you build uh, a bot in any platform, our software will work for it as a custom backend. All right. So that's essentially that's essentially what the software is actually going to do. All right. It's that custom backend. Now, whenever it comes to what whenever it comes to the investment opportunities that that I've opened up, okay. So essentially, um, what I'm thinking initially is that I'm going to have two different tiers, okay. Um, during this during this coming week, I'm going to sell seats to the software. Literally, I'm going to sell lifetime access to the software for forty seven dollars, okay. So I'm going to sell this week only, only this week. After next week, like after the end of this week, you'll never see another forty seven dollar lifetime access to the software, all right? So that's one way that there's gonna be some revenue coming in to actually crowdsource the software, as I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna pre-sell seats to use the software. The software is gonna be priced anywhere between um, five to $30 a month. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna compete with Minichat and Chat Fuel because I know the Minichat user paying $10 a month for his bot will pay another $10 a month to keep his client out of Minichat but allow them to see how many subscribers they have and allow them to actually broadcast. I know the chat fuel user paying $30 a month to, for his bot will do the same thing. He, he will pay $30 a month to allow his client access to the, to broadcast from the bot without giving him access to the actual bot itself. All right. So this week only I'm going to sell seats for $47. All right. Now the other option is you can come in as an investor. That's the other option. Now, uh, the other option as an investor, I myself am going to hold a minimum $1,000, okay? So, uh, like I said, I'm going to invest the entire $8,000 if nobody invests in it because I know for a fucking fact it's going to make money because I've already had two people in chat fuel approach me and offer me 10 k I had another dude offer me 4 k I had three people actually uh, go in and tell me they want to actually pull together because they want this shit built. Yeah, Dudley, you, you got your hand up. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, man? You got your hand up for something? You're unmuted, by the way. Dudley, did, did you have your hand up for something? Did you want to ask a question or something, man? Oh, the app? What, what's the app about? Uh, like I said, the, the app is a custom backend for users who build chatbots on Minichat or ChatFuel, okay? So if you're building bots on these platforms for clients and you want your clients to be able to actually go in and send broadcast to their subscribers but not give them access to Minichat, not give them access to chat fuel, but you still want them to be able to see how many subscribers they have. You want them to be able to send out broadcast messages to their subscribers. That's what this software allows. This software allows you to go in and create bots for your clients on mini chat at $10 a month, tell your clients whatever you want, and then just give them a login at your domain, at their domain. You can completely white label it at your, at your domain or their domain. Give them a login where they can log in, they can see their entire subscriber list and they can create a broadcast message and they can send that broadcast message out to all their subscriber list without having to get access to mini chat or chat fuel. So that's what the actual software is about. All right. So I'm going to invest, like I said, I will invest the full $8,000 if nobody else wants to put any money up because I'm building this software because I know it will fucking sell. All right. My buddy Hector, uh, he is really confident himself that he'll get 500 of his students to go in and buy this software for, for anywhere between a 297 one-time payment to a $50 or a $47 monthly payment, all right, if he just drops a link in. I know that most of my chatbot students 
will buy this software. I know that for a fact. So I know just between us two that we'll get at least 500 users paying for this software as soon as we open the doors to the software. That I have no doubt about, which is why I said I, I will fund the entire money myself. I mean, no questions asked. Now, I wanted to open up the crowdsourcing to actually prove this model. So I'm gonna invest it. If anybody else goes into the crowdsourcing, my share is going to be uh, a minimum $1,000, all right? So that means that there's only going to be $7,000 because I don't want to crowdsource the entire $8,000. That way, I don't get access to any of the actual profit share, any of the actual revenue. Because with the investment opportunity, essentially, you are going to get, uh, like, we'll sign a contract. Everybody will sign a contract. It will be a legal document, and you will actually own the revenue of the software in proportion to the amount of money that you invested in accordance to the $8,000, all right? So I'm gonna hold a minimum share of 1,000. That's gonna be my minimum share, all right? Now there's gonna be another 7,000 that is there. There's another $7,000 that you're able to go and invest upon. I'm thinking that we need to do uh, like a $300 minimum because I don't wanna have more, I really don't wanna have more than 20 people who own rights to the actual software um, as far as the profits of it. So if you think we're gonna have 700, I, I don't wanna have more than 30 people, let's say, that's 233. Um, I really don't wanna have more than 20 people, that's 350. So I, I'm thinking that uh, I'm, the, max, the max would be you can invest the other 7,000 if you want to, buddy. So I, I think the max you could invest is 50%. So I, I think that's what the max would be. I think the max you could invest would be 4K is the max. If you invested 4K, I'm gonna invest the other 4K. I don't think I'm gonna let anybody have a, a higher ownership than, than I actually am. So uh, I, I think that would be the max is 4K. So um, whatever I have to, because I, I don't want any one person to actually have let's say 25% ownership of the profits and me only have 20% of it. So I think the match would probably be, be around 4K and then I would invest the other 4K. Like if I had a guy right now that said, hey, if that's you Matt and you're like, hey, I'll invest 4K in it, then I would just close it down and say, well, I'm investing the other 4K, done deal. So um, I, I don't think anybody will, I, I don't think that there's any, any anybody that actually wants to make that type of investment. But if they do, I, I'll totally welcome it. Because like I said, I'll invest entire, I'm going to invest entire 8K with or without anybody else. Trust me on that. This software will get built, just like all these other softwares that we built. I mean, this software will get built like every other single software that, that's built by tier five, okay? Uh, so, so essentially, like I said, I'm thinking that there's gonna be between a 300 and a $350 minimum investment, all right? With that, what you are gonna get with that, you are gonna get lifetime access to the software just like somebody who does a pre-sale, all right? You're gonna get complete lifetime access to the software, unlimited lifetime access to the software. You are also going to get a, a, a rev share, a profit share of all the revenue that's generated. So essentially what's gonna happen is I'm gonna to come to this software, I'm gonna set up another account, I'm gonna come into Stripe, uh, and I'm gonna set up another account in, in Stripe. I, I've got a bunch of them because uh, I got a bunch of different, I've got a bunch of different products that make us a bunch of different money, all right? So I'm gonna create another Stripe account specifically for this product, and I'm, everybody that invests, I'm gonna give them finance, like I'm gonna give, I'm gonna grant them finance privileges, like view privileges, where they can go in and actually view the Stripe account, see all the actual money that's coming in to the actual product. Okay, so and then you're going to get it, it will all be on paper. We'll sign a contract. I'll put a contract out. I've got a client, and what she is, one of my clients. Uh, it's actually these guys right here. It's simply willed. These guys right here, they're actually lawyers. They're my clients. I build their shit. Um, 
So I'm going to have them go in as part of, I just fucking spent like 80 hours doing a complete tech audit for them. And I, I didn't only build them 20 hours. So I'm going to cash in on the other 60 hours in a, in a service barter. And I'm going to have them go in and, and write up a, a rock solid contract that basically explains. Now I am going to retain ownership of the actual product. I'm not going to give anybody rights to the source code to be able to launch the product on their own. We're gonna, I'm gonna own the actual source code, but all the investors, you guys will own a percentage of equity in the profits. What's gonna be considered profits? Every revenue that comes in outside the initial $8,000 that it's going to take to build the software. Everything else, there's not gonna be actual hosting costs, there's not gonna be any maintenance costs. All those costs are gonna be absorbed by me, absorbed by tier five, my company, all right? So it essentially, like I said, what you're going to get in the investment option is if you invest, you're going to be able to invest anywhere between 300 to $350 is going to be the minimum because like I said, I don't want to have 50 people who all have equity in this software and then we're distributing payouts to, to 50 people. I really honestly don't want more than nine people. Um, I want myself and nine other people is really my ideal condition, which puts everybody at 800 bucks. That is my ideal condition. So if I get, uh, as soon as, as soon as the, the money is raised and the investment, then I'm not going to let anybody else invest. So if I've got somebody, if I've got two people today that come in and they both say, you know, Hey, we're going to invest 3k. Um, then I'm going to say, no, you're not going to invest 3k because that's 6K and that means I'm only invested 2K and that means you guys own more of my software than I do. I'm gonna say, you guys can each invest 2K, I'll invest 4K, done deal, all right? So as soon as that initial 8K is raised, $1,000 is already raised, trust me, because I'm putting that up. $8,000 of it, it's all literally raised because I'm putting up all of it regardless if anybody else jumps in or not, all right? So, but there is $7,000 out there available for the people to actually invest in and whatever you invest, you'll get that actual share of the revenue that comes in. So I'm projecting, literally, I'm projecting that it will go in. So if you look, I've already got here, uh, all, like already without the software even being built, I've already got 25 people who want to buy lifetime access to this software. So um, I'm almost certain if I send them out a broadcast for 47 bucks to buy this software, um, I'm pretty sure that they'll actually buy it. So 47 times 25, that's only 600 bucks. So that's 600 bucks right there. I've got another 44 people that said they're actually interested in investing in this software. So if I just said 44 plus 25, times 47 that's 3k if i were just to say hey invest 47 dollars and i'll give you lifetime access that's half the cost right there so i got no doubt in my mind that that some of these people will actually jump on and this thing will actually get crowdfunded like i said that's my real end goal um, I, I showed you guys my I, I showed you guys my actual stripe account uh, I, I showed you guys my actual stripe account the the balance sitting in there how much money that has actually been raised this year. This is just for my bot trainings. Literally, this is just for my actual bot trainings here. So hey, don't, don't think that I actually need the money and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get some money because I need it because I don't actually need the money whatsoever. Uh, I run a company with 37 engineers on it. That, I mean, that work full time for me. I don't actually need the 8K. The, the 8K is a proof of concept to show how crowdfunding software actually works because I want it to be another model that we have in tier five because I get people all the time. I get clients all the time that have awesome fucking ideals, like really awesome ideals, but they just don't have the budget. So I'd like for one of our entries into tier five, it's for people with these low budgets, but these great ideals to be able to post their projects on Launchpad, which is a tier five software and essentially have a group of people that are interested in it and they go in and invest. They either donate or they invest for equity, profit shares in the company, or they, they invest for marketing. They invest for advertisement spots to be put on the website, all right? So uh, I wanna prove this model. So anyways, I, I've explained to you exactly what the software is. The software is a custom backend for 
any type of chatbot builder that will allow your client to log into the software, see their subscriber list, and send out a broadcast to all their subscribers without ever getting access to mini chat, without ever getting access to chat fuel. I know it's going to sell because I've already had so many people ask me to build a solution for this. It's one of the reasons that I'm building it is because I've seen, I've had people personally ask me, I've seen people post in groups all over the place. Is there any way for this? Is there any way for this? There's not yet, but there's actually about to be. All right, so that's what their software does. I've explained to you the terms. It's gonna be, it's gonna take three months to come up with a production version. In four weeks, you will have a beta version where all the investors can actually start using it. Anybody who pre-purchases the software, like I said, this week only, I'm gonna run like a $47 lifetime access to the software. Uh, any of that revenue as well, if, if the 8K, like if the 8K is raised through crowdfunding investment, any of that revenue is going to be revenue that the investors are actually going to share in, all right? So uh, I'm gonna open that up. So any of those early adopters, any of the investors, they'll be able to access the software and start using the software in a stable way in three and a half, four weeks maximum. It will be production ready to literally go out and support 100,000 users in the software at once in three months maximum. All right, so. Uh, um, so the, you, to, to answer your question, Matt, you said would this would this allow you to would this allow you to use both mini chat and chat fuel features together with the same page on on the back end for the provider? Um, yeah, so this software will have nothing to do with that. It doesn't care what you use. My software doesn't care what you use as a bot building platform. Okay, it doesn't care whatsoever. If you use Chat Fuel, if you use Opesta, if you use Botly, if you use MiniChat, um, if you use Botify, it doesn't care. If you use a custom built bot, it does not care what you use as a bot building platform. Okay, it will just be a platform that you give your client a log in, a log into. They log in, they can see their subscribers, and they can create an actual broadcast and send that out to their subscribers without having to get inside the bot be able to fuck anything up with the bot or be able to understand that you just built their bot on mini chat and you're charging them a thousand dollar a month retainer or you just built it on chat fuel and you're charging them a thousand dollars a month. So it doesn't care about that. It just allows you, it's going to be allow you to completely white label it, put it behind your domain, put it behind your client's domain. It's going to allow you to completely do that. Uh, and like I said, give them access because they all want access. Even I have clients that, that send me, that send me emails to do their broadcast because I don't give them access to the back end. So now even my clients, instead of them having to email me their promotional material and me having to go in and tell one of my developers, hey, create some broadcast and send it out for this client, they'll be able to do it on their own and they'll never know that I built their chat on ManyChat or I built their bot on Chat Fuel. They'll never know any of that or they'll never be able to get into the bot and start clicking buttons and, and fuck shit up. So. I gave you what the software is going to do. I, I gave you the investment terms. It's going to start like at a minimum between 300 and 350 bucks because I don't want that many people actually owning the software and sharing in the actual revenue because I don't really actually need that. And I might change it. So uh, yeah, just be warned, I might change it. I might put it at an $800 minimum so that there's no more than 10 people that actually own equity and the profits of the software because I don't want that many people. I really just actually want to, to prove the actual model. All right. So that's it. That's the actual deal. Uh, that's the equity investment. If you're actually interested in investing in the software, like I said, you'll get lifetime access to the software. Most likely I'll, I'll give you like one or two extra user accounts so that you can give those to somebody else as a gift or you can sell them to somebody and then you'll get equity. You'll get to share in the profits in proportion to the amount of money that you actually invested. There'll be a minimum um, either 300 bucks or 800 bucks somewhere in, in, in the range. So it just depends on how the first couple of days go and how many people are actually interested in it. So, um, any other questions, Matt? You got any other questions that you want to ask? All right, so that's it. I'm going to end this video. 
Um, if you have any questions at all, there's very few people that are actually going to get this video because it's just you guys in my bot that showed interest. If you have any questions, you just put them in my bot. Uh, there's going to be like the keyword invest. Uh, most likely you just type in the keyword invest and then I'll just ask you a question. What questions do you have about this investment opportunity? And you can just send me the questions and I'll keep track of them and I'll, I'll essentially, you know, answer the questions for you. But that's it. Thanks for, thanks for your time.